Good afternoon, everyone. It's a personal as well as official honor for me to welcome uh, the Prime Minister back to the Capitol once again. We're here uh, on a previous occasion in uh, 2017, long overdue visit now again. Happy to be back. Thank you. And thank you. The U.S.-Singapore bond is a very important one uh, to our country. And so we look forward to our discussion about our mutual security, about our economic opportunities and development, about how we address the climate crisis, how we do so in rules-based order. Uh, the Indo-Pacific relationship is a very, as a Californian, I can say, a very important one uh, uh, to our country. So we will be next going to a bipartisan meeting where we'll discuss uh, some of these issues and get some good uh, wisdom from the area, from the Prime Minister, and it's wonderful once again to welcome Prime Minister Lee to the Capitol. Thank you, Ms. Pelosi. It's, I'm very happy to be back again visiting the Speaker and to meet some congressional representatives since my last visit here in 2017. Singapore and the U.S. share a strong and enduring partnership which stretches across many areas and we are very grateful for the long-standing bipartisan support that Congress has given to this as reaffirmed and in various acts, for example, in the National Defense Authorization Act, which names Singapore as a major security cooperation partner of the United States. We look forward, however, to continue to develop and to grow this relationship and to explore new areas of cooperation, for example, in climate change, in cybersecurity, in infrastructure development, particularly in sustainable infrastructure development, and in the Partnership for Growth and Innovation, which we are advancing together with the U.S. Administration. Now, these new areas build upon our economic cooperation, which is underpinned by our free trade agreement between the two countries, which have promoted investments into the U.S. and exports from the U.S. to Singapore, which altogether account for a quarter million United States jobs. So it's a, a mutually beneficial relationship. It's not just in the economic area, but also in the security area. And in security as well, we work closely together because we believe that the security of the region is vital to the stability and the prosperity of the Asia-Pacific. And the U.S. is a big part of this story. It's critical for the U.S. to stay involved and engaged in the Asia-Pacific and to develop and grow its economic ties with the region. The United States has what it calls an Indo-Pacific economic strategy, and in particular an Indo-Pacific economic framework which it is developing. And we ho hope to see these bear fruit in the years to come. With Congress, from time to time, congressional delegations visit Singapore, and including to the Shangri-La Dialogue. And I understand the speaker is coming to Singapore in a CODA very soon, and I look forward to meeting her then. These U.S.-Singapore relations in the context of the U.S.-ASEAN relations are highly beneficial to Singapore, to the United States, and I think to the stability of the region as well. And long may they continue. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister, earlier today I had a visit from some members of our military and I told them that I would thank you for the hospitality you extend to our naval base in Singapore, which I look forward to visiting soon. Thank We're you. very happy to host them. Thank you. Thank you.